going to need my cybernetic extended stay there. To do those quick. So remember, we talked about base of sustentation. Lean into them. So we have our residing base where we walk around, and sometimes we, you know, we, we brace up. We usually go to about 50% of our capacity. And I said that if we go a little wider, we get stronger, right? And the big danger is if you've got a bigger guy who also has a good wide base of sustentation, then the difficulty begins. But what happens when we go past that limit? Do we gain balance or lose it? So as soon as you get somebody there, they start to lose. So if you find yourself as wide as you want to go comfortably, it's still not enough. Start looking at how you can widen him. You can use, for example, if you're there, you've got a right hand there, your left hand can either go in or out. See if you can pull that leg. Take your knee. See if it can pivot. See if you can deliver a little shot. See if you can take your either leg and hook his leg and pull it away from his other. Nope, the close leg. Yeah, exactly. And then once you get, yeah, exactly, right? So it doesn't matter. You be careful. If you start doing shots, if you see her, I widen myself right away. But look, the slide is right against mine. Don't push in a way that's going to make my knee sway. Pivot. So watch my right leg. Pivot. And once I do that, he's losing his base. Now it takes nothing if I'm going to go there anyway. See, my, my, my leg doesn't want to leave the ground. All I have to do is tap him. A little bit of tap nuts, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kiss it. I'm going to kiss it in. A little, a little shot like that. Tap it and pivot. Yeah? I can work one pivot into a straight frame. Like I'm dropping and pinch his leg. Now I've got weight on his calf, his shin. Yeah? Which is that. As opposed to going like this, which is a bit dangerous, right? Hockey style is a little bit dangerous for your, for your meniscus. So I just, like a good pivot. Think of how deeply you could pivot if you had to. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we all know our capacities. We see it here. I can, if I'm here in that position, leaning on a structure, I can flick the other one. Little tap, yeah, or heel tap here. If I have no, he's just pulling like this. I can hook it and step away with my other leg. Now that one can't move. So start to look at it. There's obviously vicious ways, like just breaking the Achilles tendon. You feel the body, yeah, or hack. But just try to look at little motions. If my hand is free. Anytime you slap somebody in the groin, I'm hitting his leg a little bit, just like that, but anytime you slap in the groin, people will take the hips back. If you keep one leg, you'll tend to go wide. Yeah, that, that start to work. So very, very easy work. The little shots. You hit this, he's going to want to move it, and boom, I can widen the base. <clears throat> Makes it a little easier to go. So start to look at how you can make that leg want to move away from the other one. You can step on one toe and hit the other foot, hit the other leg. If you step, if he steps on my foot, yeah, and he does anything to push me, I'm going to take a step for balance and then, oh, I don't have so much support if he pushes me down. Yeah? So play a little bit with splitting their base.